Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing the optical drive in a 13-inch MacBook Pro mid-2010 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro in a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook Pro over so that the bottom is facing up. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove, starting with these three, which are longer than the other seven Phillips screws. Once all 10 Phillips screws have been removed, lift up on the bottom of the MacBook Pro and set it aside. The optical drive is located here. Both the ribbon cable and data connector needs to be unplugged here. Use your nylon pry tool to gently disconnect both cables. The first screw we need to remove is hidden under these wires next to the fan. Gently pull the wires to the side and remove this Phillips screw. Now remove these two screws from this module. Now gently slide the module over and remove this Phillips screw. Remove this Phillips screw as well. Now use your nylon pry tool to lift the optical drive. Then remove it from the MacBook Pro, being careful of any wires. We need to reuse the old optical drive hardware on the new optical drive. First, unplug the data connector. Next, remove this bracket by removing the two Phillips screws. We will now install the hardware from the old optical drive onto the new optical drive. First, set the bracket in place and secure it to the new optical drive using the two Phillips screws you removed from the old optical drive. Now plug in the data connector. Slide the new optical drive into place, being careful not to pinch any wires underneath it. Make sure that the drive is laying flat. To secure the optical drive in place, begin by screwing in this Phillips screw. Next, screw in this Phillips screw. Secure the module back in place using the two Phillips screws you removed earlier. Now replace the last Phillips screw holding the optical drive in place here. Then make sure all the wires are seated correctly. Now plug in the SATA connector and the ribbon cable to the motherboard. Now set the bottom of the MacBook Pro back in place. Starting with the three longer Phillips screws here, replace all 10 Phillips screws on the bottom of the MacBook Pro.
And finally, turn your MacBook Pro over, open the case, and turn it on.